Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will talk about the uh, what asking the my subscribers. One of the my subscribers in the Telegram asking me how he can create the kind of uh, wall, or as you can see here. Sorry, this is not clear picture because he making the picture from this uh, desktop, so that's why. Anyway, today I will show you how you can create the kind of the uh, walls. This is a unique thing, so it's not a regular thing. So if it's unique thing, uh, you can create it, for example, by messing. But I will show you like few ways how you can create kind of uh, walls in your project. Let's get started. And we will start from the messing. Of course, the messing will help us to create it like the wall, like the real wall in Revit. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the messing form. I need the, some reference planes. Let's create one reference plane and let's, let's create the second one reference plane. Uh, here is our distance uh, between one point and the second point, and between of this distance, we'll, we will place our wall. Okay, this everything clear. Now I will go to the model. I will use the uh, line, but I not will draw it on the plan view. I will switch it. Mm, let's switch it to, to, to 3D or to the some elevations. Let's I will set uh, the my working plane. I will set this working plane and I will go to the nerve view. Okay, here is the nerve view. Uh, let's draw the one line. As you can see, here is the my one one my line. Okay, here is the line. Just uh, without anything, just a line. Uh, let's go back to the level one and I will set the second working plane. Okay, here we are, and we will all we also will go to the north view. Here we are, and what I'm gonna do now? I will just copy uh, this uh, shape, but I will change the shape. Actually, I will make it a bit smaller, and I will use the uh, target and arc. So let's do that from this one. I wanna make the arc. Let's do like this. Okay. Let's go to 3D, and you will see the difference. We get the one line, and we get the arc line. So once you will select one and the second line and create the form, you will get the shape like this. So as you understand, as you understand, we can create now the kind of this shape. If you will create more arc, not like I did, like more curve, you will get the pretty nice result. Let's say OK. We finish with that. So let's I will hide the my levels because it's really annoying me. And let's go back to the messing. Here we will find now the walls. Let's use some walls. Let's say I want to make some uh, generic walls. Uh, with my generic walls? Mm, it's really hard to find. 250. Uh, maybe I will use this 300. Okay. Just select one, select two, and you will get your wall. Yes, of course, you will get some problems. As you can see, our wall is changing the position. For that thing, you should make it not to the one point. You should make it more interesting, I mean, the shape. I will show you how you can solve this problem. Uh, let's uh, dissolve this one, and let's I will do this a bit smaller, and I will make here the some angle, because without the angle, you not will get the nice result. Let's do that. We cannot do that in here. So I will do it in the north view. Of course, it's not a big problem for us. And let's make some curve. Like this. Okay, so here is one line. Here is the second line. Let's back to 3D. And let's create the shape. Oh, we cannot create the shape because we did it on the wrong side. It's okay. Anyway, uh, let's go to this uh, our Working plane, let's say we'll set up again working plane, north view. Uh, yes, this is really uh, hard sometimes to create it, but we will do it. Uh, let's select all of that things. So let's go to 3D. And again, I have the problem with that. It's here. Uh, it's okay. Uh, let's uh, let's set our working plane is here. So let's set this one. Let's go back to the 3D and let's I'll mirror it. Okay, everything all right right now. And let's select everything and let's create the form. We did it. Let's final our mass form and let's go back to the wall. One wall, the second wall. As you can see, now we get more clear result. So this is what you want. Now after that, you can continue your wall. This is kind of a huge wall. This is so big thickness. If you will do it a bit smaller, you will get more pretty nice result. Okay, this is variant number one. Let's back. Uh, let's go back to the uh, variant number two. 
So when I started this project, I said uh, this is unique wall and this is a unique solution. So it means uh, if it's a unique wall, we can use the component, component in mod model in place. Uh, actually, don't use it uh, always. Use it only in some uh, unique uh, spaces. Let's say this is wall. It's really unique because it's only one in our project. Maybe few, but not thousands one. So. For this way, we can use the walls by model in place. Let's use the word model in place and we will use the sweep. Of course, we not will use just a sweep, we will use the sweep blend. Let's use the sweep blend and let's sketch our line. So this is, will be our direction. It will be going to the same direction from the one side to the other one side. And now I will say OK and I will set the my first profile. Let's uh, set the my one profile, edit profile and I will see on the viewer where is the my profile. OK, let's draw it. Uh, now I will draw the my line. I will do the pretty same things. Uh, I will draw it like this and after that I will do it like that. And now I will make the thickness of the my wall by offset. Let's make it 150 millimeters. Let's say this is plaster like this. And don't forget you should close because uh, this is uh, actually profile. Profile should be be close. It's don't leave it opened. So let's close it. We did it. Let's check it out. I want to use TR, so this is mean trim. Where is my trim? Oh, here. So everything all right. And say OK. Now let's go to the profile number mm, number two. It's already number two. Ah, oh, yeah, it's already number two. Let's go to the profile number one. OK, here we are. We can see the uh, our existing profile and let's create our the second type of the profile. Let's do that. Actually, I will use the picky line because this is I uh, we cannot use it here, but we can use it. I hope we can use it here. No, we cannot. <laughs> it happens sometimes. OK, so let's draw our line. It will be a bit bigger. And I will do it like that. Again, I will use 150 millimeters. Yeah, now you, you can say we drawing our wall from the zero to the end. Yes, this is true. But uh, this is also the solution and not bad solution for your uh, idea to realize your project. So we done. Let's say OK. Oh, we didn't finish somewhere. Uh, so let's let me I will check somewhere. I have the problem with the connection. Uh, I hope it's fine. OK, it's fine. Let's go back to the 3D and let's apply this project. So done. As you can see, here is our wall. If you will select this is wall, you can see uh, you can do whatever you want with the wall. But don't forget, this is still model in place and you cannot work with this wall like with the uh, existing wall. So you should um, mention it. And this is actually not a real wall. OK, here the second uh, type, how you can create your wall. And it's also not bad uh, variant to create. And last variant, how you can create this wall, you should use some uh, third program like Rhino, you can use uh, like SketchUp or whatever you want, 3ds Max, Maya, wh whatever you want, you can use it and export it to the Revit. But actually, uh, it uh, will be the same result as we did in the first one, so it doesn't change so much for anything. You can use also the Dynama, but it's really hardest way, so I really prefer to use these two variants because these two variants it's coming from the Revit and you will not will get some problems later on when you will wants to change it. So I hope it's uh, really useful for you and if you have some uh, ideas or if you want uh, asking me how to do something in uh, your own project or uh, whatever, you can go to this uh, group in the Telegram and ask me uh, to do something and I will do it as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching me and see you soon.